If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, last time uh, we have gone through the workflows, right? Yes, yes. And uh, this time, uh, you know, as part of today's session, we'll be going through the business rules. Okay. Okay. Can you please um, uh, give a brief uh, understanding about what you have completed uh, so far in the workflows? Yeah, actually, this weekend I was not able to work because I even I was not feeling well oh, this okay. weekend. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I didn't get chance to work on the system. Okay. I just went through the video once. Okay. Yeah. How do you help now? Yeah, feeling better, Kanna. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Good to know. You are I'm waiting for any other to join. Otherwise, I will start our session today. Yeah, we'll wait for five more minutes. Okay. Um, did Pratik join on Friday? Hi, Himavindu. I think yeah, uh, it's good to start. Yes, Khan. I think they're not going to join. Yes, Khan. Waited enough time. Not an issue. Yeah, let us start with the understanding what are the business roles. In the last okay. session, you have seen the detailed overview of uh, workflows, how it can be configured, what are the options, different options, how we can uh, proceed further and uh, navigate through the implementation guide for the better understanding yes. of uh, workflows. Today, let us understand about business rules. As I told you, business rules are used to add a application logic to determine the outcome of the change, okay. uh, whatever that's made to the particular data in the system. Which means earlier I have shown you the scenario when you change the first name of the employee. Okay. And there must be a workflow triggered as the outcome of that change. Different. Right? Yes that we are triggering using business rules. For example, uh, you can set up a business rule which can trigger uh, any action. It's not only uh, creating a workflow or approval. It can be like okay. creating an error message or uh, creating, a, creating a warning message. Or also you can make sure that when you trigger that specific logic, then uh, you, you can auto update any other field which is associated with that. And this is uh, uh, this this you can uh, achieve it whenever there is a change, certain action happened, whether it is uh, adding the data or change of the data or deleting the data from the system. Any okay. of this action. Okay. Okay. And this is basically the, the, the general logic that it works on an if and then condition. Okay. Okay. And you can uh, configure the business rules for uh, legal requirements, for legal regulations, I can say, for legal regulations and company policies, other company specific requirements. Let us understand how you can use the business rules for the legal regulations. Okay. If the employee works in USA, then FLSA status is required. Do you understand? Yes, can. If the employee works in USA, then FLSA status is required. Or something like okay. that. If the employee works in India, then other card is required. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. The business rule, it will trigger and make sure that system triggers a workflow or a error message to make sure that the data is properly updated in order to satisfy the legal regulations of the specific country. And you can also use this for, for uh, uh, you know, for, for uh, satisfying the company policies. Okay. Which means company specific policies uh, in the sense, if an employee moves to USA, then the compensation must go 
higher based on the cost of living. This is quite complicated uh, scenario when we take in these scenarios. In India, the cost of living, it's completely different. Yes. Right? Yes. At the same time, when you move to a country like USA, the cost of living exceeds, you know, almost double or triple. Yes. If you see the cost of living for, a, you know, for an individual or a, for a family in India, it, it goes up to 40,000 per month. But in USA, yes. that goes up to, uh, you know, 150,000, right? Yes. Yeah. Similarly, whenever there is a movement, even though from the country to country, within the same organization, they must receive that whatever the uh, cost of living for the specific country based on the company policy. This is specifically we can, uh, you know, we can consider this for the benefits calculations, the business roles. Okay. Okay. And you can also uh, you can you can do that um, you know other company specific requirements like anything we have seen the business rule how we can create a business rule and uh, utilize that to trigger a workflow understand yes trigger yeah. a rural workflow within the success factors what is yes. Yes. So far, do you have any question? No, come. Sure. Let us see the system demonstration, how the business rule works, and what are the basic business rules which are available in SAP success factors. Okay. Okay. Hope you can look at my screen. Yes, come. Sure. Let me just take one example and show you quickly how business rules will impact and how better you can utilize the business rules. Let me add this. Have you seen the, the please confirm your request, Mrs. Popper? Yeah, can I? Yeah, which means whenever I change the first name of mine at any time, you know, this can be, uh, you know, due to a mistake or due to any other uh, reason behind this, but there must be, there must be a workflow triggered right yeah to make sure that the configurations are approved before uh, you know proceeding further right yeah that is this is we are achieving this from the business rules let us see a little more understanding about this you have something called uh, Workflow participants. Do you remember you have you have done yes. changes a couple of times? Yes. You have added the workflow in the business rules. Yes. And to make sure that that is aligned with the succession data model. Yes. Right? Yeah. Can you just give a quick uh, demonstration of that? Before we proceed yes, to the next topic, yeah, I'm stop. I have stopped sh sharing it. Yeah, come. I'm sharing. Yeah, please proceed. Yeah. This is a workflow template I, uh, which we created. 
Now yeah. we'll be going to the uh, personal information. Mm -hmm. And there we have to take the values uh, which has been triggered. Uh, uh, either first name or marital status. Or, okay, I'll take this one only again. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Gender. Yes, yes, you can. Marital status, right? Yeah, you can yeah. take. Yeah. yeah. In that, after going to marital status uh, in trigger rules, um, we have to see the condition, if and then condition. Um, yeah, but here, uh, um, there is no need to change anything, I believe, Kanna, because it is not in the race request uh, uh, condition. It is already set WF config value. So there is no need to change anything here, I believe. Yep. So this is done. So now we have to go to any employee profile. And we have to check if that error is, uh, if you are able to see that error. And even the, the workflow also. Is the, the business tool that we are using workflow. in order to create a workflow whenever workflow. there is. A yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, now I'm going to the retail state. Okay. I want to change this and I want to see how the workflow now. Okay. I'll upload some document. Bachelor. Okay. Okay, I upload it. See. So now you can now we can see the workflow participants where like we assigned the role one uh, role as matrix manager one uh, one employee and we have created a workflow for the additional manager second manager Mohan Kumar manager's manager is one manager is uh, Mohan Kumar. And um, we have created one, uh, um, what is the demo? This onboarding, uh, I'm not getting the. the yeah, this is the workflow, Kanna. Okay, can you please uh, uh, show us how you have, um... You know how you can uh, modify this. Why we are seeing yeah. the first manager, additional manager, second manager only with okay. Mohan Kumar as CEO. What is triggering for this issue? No, we have given these things, Kanam. We have given the role uh, five roles we have created. One is matrix manager, additional manager, second manager, manager, and manager manager. We have created five approvers. Okay. So then that's the reason. And proceed and approve. Proceed. Yeah, you want my... How do you do that? Sorry, Kanna. You proceed and approve this request. I would like to see the end to end process. Okay, confirm. Second. Some information changes request from. We have to give any comment here, Kana, not required. Not required. The okay. comments are not required. Okay. So how do you know where the workflow is? 
before uh, okay proceed proceed and show me so you're asking me to um... no, to complete the workflow i ask you to complete the workflow and uh, i wanted to see the change this is complete the workflow so you want me to make the changes here, Kanna? No, no, I'm I'm not asking you to make the changes here, but I want you to complete the workflow approvals so that the change will reflect in the system. Okay. The workflow is not yet approved. The change is not yet reflecting. Right? I want that to be reflected in the system. Do you understand what I'm asking? Yeah, changes need to be, uh, changes need to appear, right? What? Uh... You, have, you have done a change in the success factor system. And uh, due to that, there's a workflow triggered. I want you to approve that workflow and I wanted you to show me how the changes will reflect in the system. Go step by step and complete the workflow. It's approval from the front end, not from the workflow config. I didn't get. Check it, check it. In the uh, workflow, we have to see in the template, Kanna, you mean? No, I'm not getting. I wanted you to approve the request, which, which is raised based on the change that you made in the people profile. I wanted to see how your managers, matrix managers, how do they approve the workflow? Okay, then I have to go to the... Uh... Yes, that's what I'm asking, proceed. There should be performance here. I'll, can I proxy, Kanna? Yes, yes. Do whatever the required things that you can uh, get this completed. But you yeah. have to show how this works. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing correct, but I'll see. No, always have the confidence that you are doing correct. I'm here to correct you. Yes, here. Then we go. Here, yes. No, why are you going? No, why, no, no, not. What can I? Why are you going to performance? Workflow to see workflow, not performance. Okay. Where, where the workflow will come? No, that is form. That is different. Forms are different. The workflows, they only trigger to the to-do list. From to-do action item, you can access the workflow. And also, you must understand where is your workflow. Currently, it's with whom? It's with um, Pitman. Are you sure? It's with... Uh... Just navigate to manage pending workflows. Manage pending workflows. Yes, that is how you understand. Uh, this one, Kanna? No, one. no more. this is not the one. Just type workflow.
Yeah. yeah. The second option is that this you can understand only when you start, you know, practicing these things. Yeah. This navigation, I don't know, can actually manage workflow request with invalid approvals. Yes, you have invalid approvals. When you created a workflow, you have you have selected an option which is called uh, respect permissions. Yes, which means even though uh, uh, you, you you have instructed open your workflow, please understand. Earlier, I told you, can you can you see? The no approval behavior is stop the workflow and respect permission, right? These yeah. two things are creating an issue. Since there is no matrix manager, you cannot approve this request anymore. Do one thing, changes, yeah. change the workflow to no approval behavior to skip the workflow when there is no approval. Scroll down, scroll down. On the step yes. one, step two, step three, step four, skip, skip this. Yes. If there is no approval behavior, which means if you don't have a matrix manager, no need to send this approval to a manager who is no more existing in the system. But I can keep this one to manager, right? Can I, uh, stop the workflow, I can keep to the manager, right? Because he is there. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can do that. Yeah, so for matrix manager, I will do skip the step. Uh, yeah. There is managers manager is there? No, I think only this manager is there. So remaining for everyone, I will do skip the step. Yep. Respect permission, no, I think. Yes. For only manager, I'll keep as? Yes. yes. And for remaining, okay. Okay, I go. Now you restart the workflow. Restart the workflow. So you want me to go to marital again and change, right? Save these changes, whatever you have done. I saved it, Kanna. Perfect, proceed. Blood group is required, attachment is required. Okay, upload, I will do. Explain what you're doing. Yeah, I am up, uploading one document and I'm choosing one blood group. Some, okay. I got an error to choose blood group and an attachment. So okay. I chose blood group and attachment. I'm saving the document. Now I can see the workflow. So as we have uh, given, uh, we the other steps have been skipped. So we are not now we are not seeing any matrix manager or the other employees or the other managers. Only for the manager, we have to make these changes for any down the level employee where he where you can expect a matrix manager to be represented. Go back. Okay. So, Okay, I go got back. it. Yep. Uh, can I go to organization chart and select an employee? Can no? no need. You can just click on that Michael Pittman. Uh, uh, you know, there's a name next to that. There is a drop down. There's a you know down arrow. Yeah. Scroll down. Scroll down. Yeah, only this many direct reports. PS. You can select Nicole Anderson. And from her, just do the drop down again. Oh, click on James Patrick. I wanted to select uh, one more level down the hierarchy. Okay. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Yeah, only this much. Like that user, Sabrina. Yes. Sabrina. Yes. Do the changes for this user. Okay. Mm 
now I'm, uh, attachment is required again same error so yeah I'm that's not an error understand that's a uh, you know that's again a business rule which is triggering that you should yes understand. yes uh, yeah it's not an error it's a business rule yeah It's taking time up. I'll upload another document. Okay. Gender solution error. Proceed, I'll click on okay. it. Sorry for the inconvenience. No okay. problem. Can. Yeah, uh, you want me to show the workflow one second? Can I'll show, yes, you yes. One. show it. Yes, uh, this is the workflow participants we got. Um, Michael Pittman and James Patrick. I think one is manager and one, the other one is manager's manager. Excellent, excellent. Do you have any questions or concern with this concept? No. So for what you mentioned no. here? No. So this is what you asked me, Kana? Yeah, when this I... is what I asked you. Okay. Okay. This is what I was asking. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can you please download the, the business role implementation guide? Yes, can. Workflow, right? Can... Yes. Business okay. rules. Uh, not the workflows. Workflows you have already completed. So take the business yeah. rules. It's in employee central core only, right, Kana? 
it is not in employee central core go back to okay. help.acp.com yeah you can just control f okay business rule just type business rule that comes from in the in the last yes okay yeah that that's how you can uh, get the document Your business rules, creating business rules. Yes. Yeah, creating business rules to configure system behavior. Um, Can you just scroll down? No, scroll up to the top, scroll up to the top. You can easily identify what topics are important. Wait a moment. Yes. The first and foremost thing, you must understand what are business rules. It's an introduction to business rules, implementation of business rules, okay. and creating business rules. Chapter number three, four, and Five. six. Okay. 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 That that gives you you know the, the basic understanding how we can do it. Can you just go through? I'll give you next uh, five to ten minutes. Just have a glance before we step into the other module. Uh, Kanna. Yes, Emma Bindu. Have we completed have to, it? No, I only I step. I read a few steps, but after that the document got closed. I'm trying to open it. It's the page is not responding. Okay, can you just uh, just go to any browser here? Yes, can I one second? Yes. No, it's coming on away. Yeah. Just have a quick glance. Second, whenever I'm opening this document, uh, my system is not responding. If I open this document, I don't know why. Yeah, I read till here, Kanna. Okay. Just um, scroll down. A quick glance would be enough. And I want you to understand the basic concepts of this. Yeah, in the starting of the session, we discussed about this uh, uh, other card and everything, right? Kanna, that only is there, like business rules, I understood, like if and then conditions, like how the changes will be effective. If we try to change anything, like how we will get the message. Absolutely. And... And there will be some, for some things we have to give uh, default values and there won't be any if condition or uh, so for, for few things, like there won't be any then condition. There will be default conditions, right? That is there. Yes, especially that business rules, uh, if you see for the compensation eligibility, you get those type of uh, conditions. You don't need to use any then condition. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And... Uh, Set default values. Yes, that we, as I said, like there will be some default values, like as date, current date. And yeah. the user forgot to maintain a required field and gets a customer specific error message displayed.
what is this kind of transient fields? Which one? Calculate transient fields. Calculate transient fields. Uh, these are not relevant for us at this point of time. Not required. Okay. Okay. See, as I told you, in any implementation guide, there are uh, three level of understandings will be there. You know, mm. one is the basics, and the intermediate, and advanced level. Mm. And uh, this basic understanding is more than enough. And the practice okay. on a basic scenarios that gives you the logical understanding how this is deriving. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Proceed. Yeah. So for creating business rules, we have to go to admin center, configure business rules, and we have to create a new rule. So to you create have created that, right? Just follow the follow the procedure. How you can do it? Show me. You want okay. Create new rule. Become self -coming. Yeah. Create a, to create a rule, expand a rule. Okay, let me see the implementation. Configure business rule. Choose plus create. Choose create new rule. This one only, right? Kana, create new rule. Yes, yes, yes. In the same place. Yeah. We have we have created a business rule earlier. For the marital status, do you remember? Yes, yes. In place, yeah. Proceed. Oh, it, there we have to create. Okay, but we came here, right? Kind of configure business rule. I repeat once again. Kind uh, I'm going. Uh, I'm following this implementation guide. Go to admin center, configure business rule. Okay. So I'm in this page now. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to select expanded. the basic business uh, rules. Basic. Mm -hmm. The basic business okay. rule, which is on the bottom. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. Rule name. Any role name you can give, right? Mm. Okay, now I'm getting. Okay, okay. Role name. Mm. Address change. Can I, is that okay? I'll just change or anything we can. The rule ID will auto populate. Okay. okay. Proceed. This is fine. No? Absolutely. Proceed. Base object. What is the basic object that you would like to take it for this? Workflow, which I created. No. No. 
if you understand you have to think about what address change what what it means personal it information a, okay select person, personal information model continue yeah okay now here address change um if Personal information. Kanna. Yes, Mabindu. I don't know what I'm. Is it correct or not? Uh, so here I have to give if condition, right? Personal information. Take a take a, take a duplicate tab first. Yeah, it's Open the business rule that you have created. Triple to double two. Oh. Always you must do that. Taking in reference of existing business rule for the best practice. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It takes some time for you to uh, do this, but still you have to practice. Yeah, I went to marital status. I think this is the business rule. Marital status changes. Mm. Personal information model. Marital status is not equal to personal information model. Kana, this is the one you are telling, right? Equal is not equal to null. is not equal to null and and personal information is not equal to personal information model marital status I'm back. Did you understand how this works now? I do. Uh, I I understood how it works, but I'm not getting here how to create this rule, Kanna. If 
Okay, you have selected personal information model, personal information. What personal, personal information? Just click on that again. Let us see. Which information you have selected now? Personal information. How did you select it? I selected personal information model. I use a personal information model. That comes. Okay, that's a base object. Okay. What object that you are comparing? Earlier, if you see, that's a marital status. Yeah, there I want to change. Uh, there my object was marital status. Here I want to uh, change the personal information. So Okay, personal uh, information. You know, if you are saying that I want to change my personal information. Yes, personal information, which includes my first name, last name, and uh, the other thing. Click on plus yes. button over there. Expand it. See what are all the objects are there under personal information. Okay, so I can choose anything out of this, right? So, yes. okay, I'll change blood group. Okay. See, again, there is a, you can expand that, the blood group option. Check what is there. Some external code is there, even date, first name, gender. No, no, they are not, they are not belongs to blood group. Only external code is external belongs code. To. Not required. Now, now we can proceed with the blood group. Whenever you see, you have to drill down like that. You have to see it. You have okay. to search it again. You need, okay. you need to do the research again. Okay. So blood group I chose. Um, so here, like, how can I say like it is equal to or not equal to? How can I select? You, know? you must understand mm -hmm. the other thing. Uh, what value you are comparing with? Go back to previous tab and see how the business rule that we have written. Where is it business rule? Personal information, marital status is not equal to personal information model. Is it model? Yes, model. Okay, then what is that next? You have to complete that. Um, marital status. Model, marital status. Here, the important thing here. Previous value. Yeah, marital status previous value is not equal to, not equal to marital present. status. Okay, yeah. So select the same, follow the same. Go back to previous tab. Is not equal to this. Just select blood group. Yeah. But it's not coming. I just okay. Then condition. Yep. Select um, set. I think. And why we have to choose set, Kana? You are setting a workflow. Okay. Setting up a workflow here. So again, personal information, blood group, blood, blood one second, Karna. No issue. Yeah, uh, sorry, can set personal value information model blood group is to be equal to value blood group. Here we have to give equal to or not equal to. Okay. 
um, uh, somewhat I'm doing. Go back to previous <laughs> previous business rule. You are coming back and landing in the same area. You know it, but you are, uh, you know, fear to understand, fear to do it. What are you doing Sir, here? Huh. Personal information model, config value to be equal to HR business partner. Okay, we have to yes. assign this to the template. Okay. Yes. Okay. Don't close this, go back to the previous step. It's okay. Okay. So, equal to, uh, but the template, okay, okay, WF config, previous value. Um, this one only, right, Karna? Only? WF config. Are exactly. We doing? Yeah, previous value, previous value. Yeah, previous value, again, if I select, mm -hmm. it is, um, there are some sections again under previous value, alternate workflow escalation. Then, then select the value, then select the value. Okay. In value also, alternate workflow escalation again. It's not, I have to select again this What one. you have selected uh, in the first, a then condition that's 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 triggering wrong. I was just looking at that. Click on the first logic. You must select the workflow config on this, the personal information model, previous uh, person, yeah, blood group. This is where you have to select workflow config down. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Value. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Got it, got it. This to be equal to. Now here, config value. Um, where can I assign the template, Kanna, then? Where you can assign the template. You have to select the workflow. Now, that's why I said go back and compare with the existing business rule that you have written. Yes, yes, I understood. There, like we have chose here config value to be equal to. Here why why it is to be equal to? There is no other options, can only one option is there to be equal to. Okay. Go back to the previous uh, business rule, what I was explaining to you. You must learn this. To be equal to HR business partner. This one I'm not getting. Set personal information model, workflow config value, WF config value to be equal to, yes. Click on that. Go back to previous tab. Okay. Click on that, uh, I don't think so, this is correct. Okay, do one thing. Yeah. Uh, click outside anywhere. Come back, come back and uh, select the set. Yes. Next drop down. Workflow config, click on that. Value. Value. To be equals to. Yeah. Click on that. Again, select workflow config. But I'm not sure. Click on the value. Alternate workflow escalation. No, that, that again gives you the same uh, logic there. 
rewrite the workflow, rewrite the business rule, cancel it, write it for any other field. Let us see. Mm -hmm. I mean, instead of personal information, right? Instead of personal, not personal information, instead of address information. Basic. Okay, rule name. Oh. I'll go for marital only. Don't get scared. Change that. Change that to any other uh, logic. Marital status you have already worked. Okay. But create it. Uh, Let us see how how you how is your understanding. You create it the marital status uh, once again. I'm not knowing the other one what to do. Okay. Base object. Type it, personal information model. Yeah. And if... Is not equal to marital status. Uh, okay. Personal information, marital status, pre previous value equals to. That is what you have to select. You are doing the first mistake on the first drop down, first drop down, not on the second drop down. Okay, okay. This is what? Information, previous value. Find out where it, where is marital status. It is there, yeah. Here, uh, there is no previous value, Kanna. External code is only there. Just go and select the base object as uh, personal information instead of person information model. Okay. Now also its previous value is not there, Kanna. Go back to the previous business value. Click on the business tool. Take action. Scroll right. Click on that pencil button. What you can see, personal information model, marital status, previous value. Previous value. Yeah, click on that. Click on that. Where is marital status here? Here. Previous value is there here. Click on the mm -hmm. plus button and see what is there in that. External code only. Then previous value would be the correct one. The only one mistake that you are doing here, select the rule type also. Rule type. Okay. Rule type. What what rule type they are using? Don't cancel it. I mean to say, don't uh, close this. Just okay. scroll up. Scroll up. What is the rule type they have used here? Uh, employee updates. 
use the same rule type. Let us see. Okay. Mm. Okay. Updates. Right. Personal information model. Okay, continue. Now here. Okay. Marital changes, previous value. Now we got it. Status, previous value, external code. So can I have to give external code or previous value only? Previous value would be fine. OK. Is equal to marital status. Here, value have to give. You're not equal to. If it is not equal to this value, previous value is not equal to this current value, then uh, we have to set a business rule saying mm, WF config value should be equal to. Um, Uh, can I hear, can I see the previous one? Uh, here, you don't select anything. Value is enough on this next tab. Template, Scroll template. Off. Workflow template, what you have created. Double two, yes, yes. double two in that way. Just type it, you will get it. Type it. Yeah, yeah. One, no. it. Yes. I have to click on save. I'll click on save, Kana. Yeah. Yes. Similar way you try doing with the other things as well. And let sure, us see sure. how that works. Sure. Understand? Yeah. Okay, let's catch up tomorrow and uh, yes, find out the next topic. Okay. Okay. Come. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below, and we will reply to them at the earliest.